Hello everybody, it's Matt here. Mark also at Fisher Electronics. So we're finishing up another install for outdoor audio, primarily. Uh, that TV client installed they had there, that's an, out, that's an indoor TV and a TV shield protector. Um, all we've done is gotten audio from that TV into their system. So that TV was not installed by us. Um, our recommendation would be to use an outdoor television and not put an indoor TV in an enclosure, but no problem. That's what the customer wanted to do. Our system here that we've got, we've got two uh, outdoor speakers on the house. One there. Those are Mariner 66 Sony amps. Very nice, very nice speakers. Uh, there's the other one, driven by a Sonos amp. So that covers their patio area. Let me turn around here and show you the rest of the situation. This is some of their patio area here, and then we have their pool. Pool, pool needs audio coverage also. Those are going to be covered by eight landscape speakers. Uh, these are six inch pendant speakers. We installed these late last week and got the others, the other two installed this week. And wow, a bird already did something. That's great. Hmm, how about that? Get that cleaned off. But one, two, these are running on a 70 volt system. I'll go back around the pool. Three, four, five. Six inch landscape speakers. Six. Seven. Eight. Our speaker wire started around on that side. We brought it around through that end, through here. It's underground burial cable, about eight inches deep. Eight to ten, actually. Um, comes along here. And there's where it comes up and goes into the house to get to our rack inside the house. So those are eight speakers around the pool um, on a 70 volt system. Um, Sonos is the other integration as far as how they're getting their audio into these, um, into the system. But basically what we have again, eight speakers around the pool, uh, landscape speakers, those are six inch, and then two speakers on the house. Um, they have their TV and that TV audio is also integrated to where they could say hey I'm gonna play my TV on these speakers here or I'm gonna play my TV on the pool speakers or I'm gonna play it on both or you could be playing your TV on the speakers on the house here and playing music on the pool that could be done also let's go down and take a look at the uh, rack system what we got down there and we'll go from there all right, coming down here in the basement area, and I'll turn a light on too. Uh, right here is our main rack. Um, they just upgraded to uh, fiber internet, and uh, so we have, um, this is all hardwired into it. Here's our line, our blue uh, Cat6 line, coming from over there where their initial router is at. So that is hardwired into their internet, this whole system is. Coming around the front side of the rack. This is all unfinished area, of course, as plainly as you can see. Got a nice LEA amplifier. That's our 70 volt amp powering the eight speakers that are on the pool. Here's our Sonos amp, which is doing the two house speakers. And we have a couple Sonos uh, ports here. TVN, that's getting our audio from the television and pool speakers is what's taking audio uh, and integrating it, getting it out to those pool, the eight pool speakers. Uh, very nice Panamax power conditioner, power uh, surge protector and conditioner. Um, that is the main equipment of the system. Um, I'm gonna give you a different view. That we've got everything as tidied up as we can uh, for what we're looking for here. Our wires are coming down, coming in the rack wire tied up as best we can get it but that is the system We're not in that light too much our speaker line here is coming along we brought it along here this is our line going to those pool speakers again and there it is coming down here and it goes out the corner of the house right over there which 
Make sure I don't hit any toys down here. There it is going out over that way. But pretty straightforward system to get audio in two areas of their outdoor, well, for their outdoor entertainment. They have those speakers on the side of their house for excellent outdoor audio in that initial patio area. And they've got the eight speakers around the pool so they can be cranking and partying and having a good time. Turn the TV on at night. Hey, I want this TV audio through the Sonos system. I want it through these speakers. Okay, we can do that. And then that gets integrated into the speakers also. So, walk back outside, give you one more look at that, and then we'll kind of finish it up here. This is finishing up here on the second day. Again, there's our two outdoor speakers, six and a half inch. Speaker wires are coming down along the side going in yeah one other thing i'll show you we did put this up this has a cat line so the tv is hardwired into the internet should mention that it is hardwired we're not using wi-fi on the television and then our audio line since the rack is right in there we're just seeing it, getting our audio in also uh, through this conduit and through our box on the wall and then there's our speaker lines going in for our two outdoor speakers on the side of the house and then again, you've got the eight speakers around the pool, and that completes the system very well. All right, if there are any comments down below in the section, that section, uh, Matt at Fisher Electronics. You can visit us at fisherelectronics.net. Uh, we are not the Fisher company that makes the Bluetooth speakers. That's fishersound.com. We have nothing to do with them. Subscribe, uh, throw some likes in the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, everybody.